So here we are above the Monaco circuit. Well, it's a bit different, obviously, out of season, but uh, this is actually a general mission area, but obviously you have to fight like hell to get here. There's not much room, really, to get here, but yeah, you've got the, the pit lane being built there. You can see the, the clear route of, of where that is. And then you've got the pit buildings being built here as well. You can clearly see this windmill section. There's, a, there's normally a grandstand in front of that. Obviously, you can see where the track goes, like that, round there, and then round. Interestingly, this is obviously the pit lane entrance here. So they completely block off this bit, and the cars actually go around here for the start finish straight. So it's just quite interesting to see it our season, really. Okay, so here we are in sort of center of Monaco. There's a few streets that are sort of center. Last time I came here was a Grand Prix weekend. Obviously, very busy. Everywhere was completely packed. It's quite nice, to be honest. Again, it's only sort of middle of March, but it's 15 degrees out, sun's out. <laughs> it's just genuinely it's a nice place to be, you know, outside of a, outside of a race weekend. Okay, here we are. This is where the pit buildings will be for the race. And these are not permanent structures. These are, despite their appearance, I mean, they might be here year round, but look, they're not bolted into the ground as such. They are just on wooden plinths. So in theory, these get put up and put down every year. That may not be the case. As I said, the, the one opposite there is a permanent structure. That one is properly in the ground, but yeah, this is where the teams will have their, their garages. You can see they're building the sort of race control type building there. That's obviously mostly done, literally building that today, as you can see by the ginormous crane. And some that looks like maybe podium part pieces, not too sure. Serious work to build this every year. It's amazing they take it down, to be honest. Why don't just leave it up? There we go, back to the big, big grandstand. That faces that way. These are all definitely completely temporary, so they're in the middle of putting these up at the moment, but they are temporary. I think this is the pit exit. It's weird because this curb, although they've put a little bit of time up there, you, know, you don't have a bump down to the pit exit in F1. So unless they re-tarmac this for the race every single year to make it smooth, I, I genuinely don't know. Anyway, has he come down now? Lots of work going on around us, but that's where we just came from up there. That's those temporary grandstands. And then this is the, the track. Looks more grandstands moving over there. There's the swimming pool, which you can clearly see when it's not race weekend. You can barely see that when it is race weekend. But it's interesting, obviously, this just looks sort of like a road, but there's a couple of clear markings of it being a track. Obviously, you've got the, the red and white outline of a curb just there, and the same over there, but these little, uh, I don't know what to call them, covers, I'm pretty sure that's where the barrier goes. So they just lift, lift those up, put a post in, and build a barrier from that. I could be wrong on that, but that would make a lot of sense. Find a souvenir shop. It's very reflective, but there's a lot of F1 Monaco type merch in there. What do you like? The little random race cars. All these shot glasses. No one gets shot glasses. Inside this souvenir shop, not so much, but then there's F1 cars through there. How do we get there? Can we get there? So we're back on the seafront. Didn't manage to find an entrance to that museum. We're trying. So we thought, hmm, wonder if this is the entrance. You look down. Oh my God. Did not expect, I was wanted to go maybe go down one floor. It goes down about five more floors. And we're at sea level. Wild. Here we go, walking right across the track. You can actually do this on a race weekend, as long as there's no track action on, obviously. You can actually go right across the track. But again, it's just interesting to see it out of season, really. And walk along here, this is a bit more restricted during a race weekend. It's more for VIPs and stuff. Boats, still some pretty insane boats here. I will say, there is definitely some some even better boats for the Monaco Grand Prix weekend. So clearly they're not here year round, some of them. Which is probably good, they're boats. They should be going about, do be doing. Another corner, obviously still alongside the racetrack here. What's interesting is there's always these little restaurants. You, you don't really see them. Not on a race weekend, because there's barriers up and they, li they literally they don't just put the crash barriers up. They literally put high barriers up to stop people watching. And obviously the track's just the other side there as well. Still need so much here, but a lot of this stuff is genuinely hidden. Absolutely insane boats. Casual Lambo. Right next to the racetrack, of course, the, the road, as you can see, comes through here. Not on a race weekend, but the racetrack course goes straight down. So we're gonna go straight as far as we can. Now this is interesting. Again, we've got these portholes here, which I assume portholes, you know what I mean? Which I assume is where the barrier goes. All around, this is obviously where the chicane is, but look. <laughs> <laughs> but not, a lot of Monaco is actual roads. This bit is uh, literally a restaurant the rest of the year. 16 for a cocktail, it is a lot, but not mental mental, considering where you're sat. You're literally sat on the chicane. <laughs> Monaco, not that it feels like it. You've got the grass down. It's actually really nice there. But again, I assume these is where the, uh, where the edge of the barrier is. So obviously you can see the edge there of where the track comes down. So they come round like that and then go up around like that. So we go, just going past the chicane now. This is obviously not where the track is. The track goes up, up there. Throughout the base of the 
a new building they built a few years ago, Wine Palace this one's called. And this is the sort of other side of Mock you don't tend to see. You obviously see the main harbour there where the track goes around, but I obviously don't see this, but it does keep going. and keep walking along here, see what's along. I just realised what this actually is, as you know, the massive name of there is a yacht club. There's a little restaurant up there. Like Nell just said, this has got, I mean, it's just a bit different to most yacht clubs. And most yacht clubs are a little, a little clubhouse and a, and a couple of cheap yachts. This is a, a little bit different. Monaco. There's lots of little F1 touches around. That's obviously very much an F1 themed board. Might even be actually from an F1 weekend, I don't know. A bit more open sea at the top. Certainly not choppier than in the marina. Big boy there, I don't know if he's maybe waiting for... He doesn't look too big to come in. I certainly seen bigger than that in the Monaco marina, but maybe waiting for an escort or something, I'm not sure. I think that casino sign was actually pointing to the elevator. I found that over the Grand Prix weekend. There's elevators that just go from the ground level to the ground level just for public they're not owned by a, a shop or a retailer or they're not internal to a building they just they just go they just help you get up around monaco it's quite unique like that but that was just a public elevator we could have used well i wasn't planning to come through the tunnel but just up some stairs and here we are also i may have blown the budget 20 euros for a t-shirt but that's almost half of what it cost me to go here and back but it's worth it 20 euros for a micro t-shirt also it's loud enough in here with normal cars. I know F1 cars don't scream as much as they used to, but it must be so loud in here with an F1 cars going through. By the way, that's not not a turn, is it? I <laughs> can't see the other side. Easy flat in the F1 car though. We're obviously walking in the opposite direction to what the cars go in, the F1 cars, but there's a theater. Didn't know that. Come on, you can't own a car like that and not rev it in a tunnel. What's wrong with him? There we go, now around this side, you start to see remnants of the actual track. I'm sure we'll see more as we go up around the hairpin around where the casino square is. The expansion continues. Look at all these brand new, massive high rise buildings. I'm actually not 100% they're even on land. I feel like they may have even extended the land out to build those. Mad. What you do for uh, no income tax, eh? And here we go again, going backwards up the track, but on the way up to the casino. Not allowed here during race weekends. You're not allowed to come, come, come around here, you gotta go around that way, which is what we did when we came, but first time I've been on this bit of track. You can see all the curbings here, the bus come flying around, showing us the beautiful racing line. Let's go and see the hairpin. This is the apex. It is a pavement, but also, because it's a ramped pavement, cars could just come up, and I'm sure there'll be people that want to imitate the racing lines. I'm not gonna go too near the edge, but yeah. It's actually quite steep right on the inside here. Does it, it doesn't feel that tight there's certainly a lot tighter corners that i've taken in my road car a lot tighter i've got to say the fairmont casino there doesn't look nearly as fancy as the other other places i'm sure it's one of the most expensive places to be during a race weekend but the actual building itself doesn't look all that fancy got to say but there'll be more fancy buildings up this way and again just get an idea of the drop here you can see obviously people there normal sized people normal sized cars it is really quite a drop that just shows how steep the hairpin is down there and here a little bit noisy because we have lots of reflective surfaces around but this is the fancy shopping center we found over race weekend and there was a security guard that was allowing people through the barrier here up these steps unfortunately we weren't one of the lucky few but he was allowing people to come up here there's a barrier at the top of these steps to stand here and obviously that's the racetrack look at i mean that that's probably five meters because the racing line's there as well Probably the closest you can get to a to a live racetrack F1 car. And here we are, Casino Square. Honestly, this area is probably the most similar I've seen from a race weekend. Obviously, lots of nice cars around here. This is where all the money is. But uh, yeah, I mean, this little through bit here is there on a race weekend. Genuinely the most similar thing. So of course, again, back to the racetrack. It doesn't feel like at the moment. You have got a curb there, though, so there's little hints of a bit of racetrack, but those are cars parked along here. But again, it, it turns back, other than the, but you know, you'd have barriers, obviously, but it turns back into this in the, in the evening after a, a day of racing or a day of quality. They do the same thing. They park the cars on the actual, well, I guess the track at the time, but the road, it's, it's, this feels weirdly the most familiar. You'd think this would be the place that's the most different, being the richest place, but no, it's most similar to a race weekend outside when the track action. Not my place for an outro, is it? Should I just do my next like 20 video intros and outros with this backdrop? Maybe I should, but uh, it's just cool just to come to such a special place, such an F1 linked place, just for the day, just have a little wander around. Um, you actually get more access, of course, this sort of time of year than you do other times of years. But yes, anyway guys, that's it from me. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.